Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing uh, basically shop update and walk around. Yeah, and I don't know what to do right now because I thought I was gonna start the video out and then you started the video out and now like I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't guys, know what to do with my hands. In more recent news, we're starting a poll. Who do you like starting the video? <laughs> me or Brian? <laughs> They're probably all gonna say you, but, but people are probably sick of me. But uh, I think your voice carries a lot better. You've got that voice for radio. I'm wild. <laughs> I know. Mine's, mine's a little softer. I don't speak, I don't, I don't come across in the videos as well as you do. I'm loud. <laughs> so guys, we got some cool trucks in the shop. We got some cool trucks outside. We're just going to kind of show you everything we've got going on right now in the shop. You obviously, if you saw the last video, you saw the Mathis truck and we're getting really close to being complete with it. And um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to show you an update because this orange truck back here is like kind of quickly becoming a favorite for me. I freaking think the truck looks awesome. We're going to show you where we're at with it before we get a full video on it. But I have a um, mixed opinion. I'm going to have to see it done. I'm not saying I don't like the truck. I just want to see it finished. <laughs> All right. The, the half chrome, half painted panel in front of... I love that look. Box. It's... I, you know, it's funny, I've never seen it before in my life, ever. And then when you put it on that truck, I saw a red truck two days later on Instagram with, with that on there. And I was like, maybe, maybe this is a trending thing? I, I don't know. They're super cool. They're, uh, they're, they're 12 gauge makes them. You'll see them in a minute. But uh, anyway, we're going to flip the camera out and start showing you all the cool stuff. Let's do this. All right, getting right into it. What's going on in the shop right now? So we're still finishing up on Mathis's truck. You guys probably just seen that video if you haven't. Go back, look at our latest video prior to this one. And there's a whole bunch of what we've been doing with the, uh, the Mathis flat top here. And this thing's freaking cool. One thing we're fixing to be doing uh, today is we're putting this no grease cover on the fifth wheel. I don't know what you exactly call that. It's, uh, it's from Minimizer, but uh, you drill the holes in it, bolt it in there, uh, it makes it where you don't have to grease the deal and will help keep the back of his truck nice and clean. We've actually never put one of these on, so we'll see. It looks pretty straightforward, but we got that to do. Uh, we got our, most of our air and electric already plumbed up on this thing now, and uh, it's getting close. So then over here, we got this truck. This thing is gonna be freaking wild. Uh, this, this one's for Angelina Domova. Um, she's a professional tennis player, and uh, they're building this truck for her father. So cool thing about Angelina Demova, like Brian said, she is a tennis player, but she also has a really cool Instagram. Uh, it's called Angelina's Garage, and it basically lines out all the rental vehicles she has. She has a fleet of exotic rental vehicles in Miami, Florida, which is also really cool. But she has a YouTube channel that basically she does all car related events. Uh, like one of the most recent ones is uh, she went and stood at the finish line of the gumball rally and was checking out all the the really neat cars coming across the finish line and everything like that. So if you want to check out her YouTube uh, uh, channel, if you want to check out, check out her YouTube channel, we're going to put the link in the description of this video. And she is going to be featured on our channel whenever she does the final delivery and acceptance of this truck. And hopefully we can do something where I like, you know, I'll, I'll teach her how to drive an 18 speed or something like that. That'd be a lot of fun. So. That would definitely, that would definitely be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's cool. neat too, because like me and you, I think enjoy like the build on this truck and stuff too, mm -hmm. because the, um, the like-mindedness with the fast cars and racing yep. and just whatever. And like, her whole family's into it yeah. so it makes designing this truck with them a lot of fun no it was it's, it was definitely a lot of fun like walking through the build and stuff like that and then you know we took her and showed her some of the cars that you know like my dad has in his collection and so on and so forth so yeah the, running into like-minded people and them doing basically the same thing that we're doing you know she's got the youtube channel but it's like car related yeah. it was it's this this build's been a lot of fun and it continues to be a lot of fun oh yeah <laughs> he's gonna be doing flatbed work going all over the country but this entire truck is getting blacked out. I think the only things that we're leaving that won't be black on it is gonna be the wheels. Um, the step box covers, we're gonna actually do black with, uh, with the, the covers, uh, the step plates, they'll be, uh, they'll be polished. And the tank straps will stay polished, but the exhaust is going black, everything's black. We're painting the grill black, painting the headlights black, Pfizer black, I mean, it's gonna be a blacked out looking truck. Should be really cool when everything's said and done. Uh, we'll be doing like air dump kit on it, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so this truck's gonna be gonna be pretty awesome. So stay tuned because we'll be doing a bunch of videos around the build of this truck. We're also doing another thing that's pretty cool about this one. We're doing uh, Hope Built half fenders on it, and I'm gonna powder coat those black as well. Um, just the whole truck overall, once this thing's done, is gonna look super neat. 
we got some custom interior work going on in this truck as well. So um, yeah, with this one, I'm pretty excited about seeing it once it's all finished up. And then we've got this one, which we'll be doing a video on real soon. This is for Crossroads Carriers. Crossroad Carriers, um, they're out of California. You guys watch the videos. We've done uh, quite a few trucks for these guys. And this one's gonna be super sharp. We still got quite a lot to do-ish, sort of. Um, we just got it back from the paint shop last night, brought it up here, and we're putting the interior back in it now. Um, we gotta paint the front hubs, do the chrome oil caps on that. Um, Peter polished the grill and everything on this truck when he was up here last week. Got it looking all nice. We got a 12 gauge bumper on this guy with two tag holes. <coughs> um, and then these panels are freaking cool too. They're also 12 gauge, that's a two inch stainless panel with a paintable uh, front cowl. Uh, we're doing 12 gauge smooth box covers on it, Dynaflex stacks, um, painted the fuel tanks and air tanks on it to match. And um, back here, we're gonna be painting the deck plate uh, early next week. I'm just waiting on an airline box to show up. We'll put the airline box in there. Then we'll paint this whole thing to match too. We've got Hope Built Ultimate Low Rider fenders on this guy. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing a few more things to it. We got a rear center panel on here from Trucks, and um, yeah, I don't know. This thing's just gonna be super awesome. The interior we're doing quite a lot too. Also, we did the headliners rewrap black, um, and we did all the the A and B pillars and the overhead console painted those black, um, and then we did all our dash panels in orange. Took all of the uh, red out of the emblems, so it's just chrome emblems inside kind of keeps up with the chrome emblems that are on the truck. Over here, we got some more interior parts for it. Here's our overhead console, which that orange really does work well with, uh, with this black. And another cool thing we're doing is I'm, I'm swapping this light out right here. So it'll be, uh, that light will be, um, will be red instead of clear. It'll look kind of nice. And then interior panel pieces, we've got the overhead console, uh, visor delete panel. It's all double stitched, orange uh, diamonds. I don't know, looks cool. And then we've got our door pieces and our overhead or our headliner piece, the big headliner piece right there. Um, so once all that's all in, it's gonna look super sharp. And the door panels, they got we got orange accents for it as well. So this truck, when it's all said and done, is gonna be pretty killer, pretty killer. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're doing four, four more grill bars. Am I, am I missing anything, Shock? Did I forget anything? Probably. Smooth box covers. Smooth box covers. Did you say that? Yeah. We've done the air dump kit, so that's done. Got the breather chops done. We got uh, 12 gauge strapless mirror brackets, uh, hero watermelon lights. Um, I mean, just, yeah, it's coming along. Interior's all we're out of this thing right now we're getting ready to, well we're putting it all back in now so um pretty cool setup this truck when everything's said and done is going to be super sharp i'm kind of excited about it because i like orange so uh this one's gonna this one's gonna stand out another update on the mathis truck we've been waiting to put this shock box cover on and the only thing that's been holding us up was lights. So we just got these in yesterday. These things are super cool. It's a, it's a clear lens and it only glows blue uh, from lifetime and they're super bright. They're pretty awesome. So we're putting those, we're putting those guys in the, uh, in that guy and then they light up and that dude in the center, the Mathis logo will light up blue at night. Um, then we're going to take a few more of those lights and mount them under the dash. So it kind of makes the floor glow blue. Um, that's just another thing we're doing there on the Mathis truck. So plugging along, I can't wait to get this thing down. We got to go hook the trailer up to this truck next week and get it in the paint booth. So we're going to pretty well just 100% concentrate on this truck and this truck for the next two days, get both of them ready to go so that we can, uh, we can start freaking painting a trailer. And then we got a few more trucks outside too we're fixing to start on. So I'll run you around and show you those guys real quick. Oh, and another thing, I got some more air dump kits set up, ready to go. And uh, every one of these trucks you see in the shop, every one of them are getting the Firewire LED headlights. So uh, literally, since we started showing people these lights, almost every build they ask for us to put in 
the Firewire um, lights, which you can buy on our website, semicasualshow.com. They're a massive difference driving in, at night with these headlights, and it's a super simple deal to put in. So get you some. And then on, uh, on that orange truck over there, we're putting the Cobra 29 CB in it also. Um, get that thing done. And uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of getting, getting some things knocked out here pretty quick. And I'll run outside now and show you this other truck we worked on yesterday. All right, and this truck here, white with a red frame. That's just regular, I think, 0006 white or 0001 or whatever they call it. White uh, Viper red frame. 389, 78-inch stand-up. Uh, this one's a 295 wheelbase, 5.5-inch drop axle, low air leaf in the rear. Um, just a pretty cool truck. This one, the guy's going to be kind of building himself. Uh, only thing we actually did to it, he asked us to get knocked out for him, is uh, we went ahead and put the 12-gauge visor on there. This is a straight visor with the uh, button lights up there in the visor for, uh, you know, run as your clearance lights. But... Uh, the guy will take this truck back home and then they're going to be doing a bunch to it. Hopefully we'll get some pictures of this thing when he gets it all finished and we'll throw it up on our Instagram. You can check that out. And if you're not following our Instagram, uh, you should do so because I put a lot of stuff on Instagram that doesn't necessarily make it to the videos, which is, uh, you can find us on Instagram. It's uh, the semi-casual show or semi-cat, sorry, at semi-casual show. Uh, on Instagram so a lot of cool stuff and reels on truck builds and photos and stuff like that that we put up there and hopefully when he gets this thing done I'll be able to throw you some pictures up and you guys can check what he does to this thing when he gets it back but that truck's gonna be super cool and we got this truck which we're pulling in the shop super soon all right, and we got this truck, which is coming in the shop in the next day or two. Also, we're going to start plugging away, working at it. This is a super cool color. It is called Wellington Cream. And uh, I don't know, I really like it. It's an awesome color, um, a little bit different. We're doing a lot of painted pieces on this truck. We're doing a bumper, a visor, window chops, cab sleeper panels, fenders, a deck plate, um, just all kinds of stuff. Air dump kit, painting the front hubs, doing a set of stacks on it. This thing's going to look super cool when everything's said and done. And this color is unique. We haven't done one like this on the channel before. It's going to look awesome. Um, nice spec truck, 72 inch stand up. And uh, it's got a Cummins 18 speed, five and a half inch front drop axle. Um, the truck's going to be awesome. It's super loaded out on the inside, too. So stay tuned because the video is coming on this one when this thing comes to be completely done. Uh, I think you guys are really going to like it. It's super sharp. Are you going or am I going? What are we doing here? No, I mean, you complained last time I went first. So I wasn't complaining. I just... You just it threw me off. I know what to do. It felt like complaining. It might have been. <laughs> guys, that's it for the video. We're, uh, we're having too much fun over here today, but I think it's because we're kind of excited. We got a ton done this week in the shop. We've got, um, we've got a lot of progress, and we've got a lot to do next week, and we're like ready to rock and roll yeah there's a lot of progress going on in the shop builds are getting closer and closer to being done every day pretty excited about that tons of videos coming lots of videos coming lots of cool content uh some fun stuff being posted up on instagram every day we had a crawfish boil we called it a crawfish boil we keep calling it's it a that. low it's a low country we boil. had a low country boil there was no crawfish in it but there was seafood we had we're crab. having a crawfish boil though we're having a crawfish boil next time yeah i but, think maybe next weekend yeah we're next, running out of time like they're almost out of season I, well, that's on you to order. You, you said you were going. Okay, to. okay. I'm going to do it. I'm <laughs> okay. going to do it. But we'll we got, make a video about it. No, we got we got a really cool uh, uh, video coming up on Instagram. We're going to drop that in the next couple of days, and then um, yeah, it's, there's all kinds of really cool stuff happening. Anyway, like, subscribe, follow us on the social medias. Yeah, like us, subscribe us, follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Semi Casual Show because that's where those reels are going up at. And check out our website, semicasualshow.com. Get all the latest information on merchandise parts and the semi-casual truck show coming up august 5th and 6th in it's, crossville tennessee it's going to be really cool there are three times so far three times as many trucks pre-registered than what we had last year i'm overwhelmed it's we haven't even got there yet i know it's it's fun it's so exciting we're and we've got our truck we're trying to get done by the show which i'm like daily going on oh, i don't know about this but we'll see what happens we're like a month and 10 days away from truck show time and i am pumped I can't it's wait. gonna be fun it's gonna be a ton of fun uh 
it's a, it, the show is always awesome. I super look forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, check that out, guys, and then we'll see you next time. Later.